Hello, this is Maurice Gimano from Oracle. Today I will give you an overview of the Tuxedo plugin for Solaris Studio and perform a demo for creating Tuxedo ATMI application and the Tuxedo SC application. What's the Tuxedo plugin for Solaris Studio? Solaris Studio is an integrated development environment, or IDE, based on NetBeans. It provides sophisticated compiler and tools to aid in the development of scalable, secure, and reliable enterprise applications. Tuxedo provides a service-oriented architecture, or SOA, platform for developing high-performance SOA-based applications. The Tuxedo plugin lets users develop Tuxedo applications through Solaris Studio with all the advantages of Solaris Studio. What are the Tuxedo plugin benefits? The Tuxedo plugin for Solaris Studio lets you develop Tuxedo applications in Solaris Studio. It supports developing, building, debugging, testing of Tuxedo SC applications. It can be used with a service metadata-driven model or a web services WSDL-driven model to add service interfaces. It also takes advantage of Solaris Studio features like code assistance or code completion and code cross-referencing, remote development and code debugger for C and C++. Remote development. The Tuxedo plugin supports local and remote development. Solaris Studio can run on the local desktop, but you can develop and debug the, the Tuxedo application on a remote server. On to the demo. There are two parts in this demo. The first one is to develop a Tuxedo ATMI application, and the second one is to develop Tuxedo SCA application. Let's walk through the steps of creating a Tuxedo ATMI application with Solaris Studio. Before we create a Tuxedo application, we need to set some options. Select Tools, Option, Tuxedo IDE, click Add, and select the Tuxedo installed. Create a new project by using File, New Project. Choose the project type, Tuxedo then Tuxedo ATMI application. Input the project name, My2Upper. Add server from the server node. Create a new source file from the server1 node, resource files. Input the file name, to upper. Developing a Tuxedo service, to upper. It will turn a lowercase string sent from a Tuxedo client into uppercase. Open the UBB config from node configuration files. The server server1 has been added in the UBB config automatically. Add a Tuxedo client from the node clients. Add a new Tuxedo client source file named simpcl.c from node Client1 resource files, developing a new Tuxedo client. This client will call the Tuxedo service to upper. Start the Tuxedo application. Run the Tuxedo client. Client will get the return string hello world from the service to upper. Now let's walk through the steps of creating a Tuxedo SCA application with Solaris Studio. Create a new project by selecting File, New Project, choose the project type, Tuxedo, then Tuxedo SCA Application. Input the project name, SCA Calc, which is going to be a four-function calculator. Add a new server, Server1. Add a component, Comp1 Server1. Open the service. Comp1 Server1 service. Rename the parameter input string into operation and add two more parameters arg1, arg2, 
with type const long. Open the source file conf1 server1 impl.cpp. Write the for function calculator code. Open the uvb config from node configuration files. The server server1 has been added in the uvb config automatically. Add a new fml32 file named calc from the node data files. Add the three rows operation arg1, arg2 with type string, long and log. Modify the server1.server.composite by adding the binding.atmi element with correct input buffer type and output buffer type. Add a test for service comp1 server1 service. Write the test code to call the SCA service. Modify the comp1 server1 server.test.composite. Add the binding.atmi element with correct input buffer type and output buffer type for the client. Start the SCA server. Run the SCA test. The client will output the result 3 and the test will pass. This concludes this presentation. You can see how easy it is to develop and test applications that run on Tuxedo using two different programming models and thanks to the Solaris Studio. For more information, visit the Tuxedo OTN page. Thank you.